What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombies game series where we go back and play all the zombies games and maps I've missed out on throughout the years. And since we're all done with BO3, it's time to move on to BO4. And in our Discord, we had you guys vote on what map you want us to start with. And today we're gonna be playing on Voyage of This Pair of Nuts. So not only am I learning a new map today, but I'm learning a whole new game. So please bear with me. Uh, technically, this isn't my first time playing BO4 Zombies. We did do a Last Man Standing with Lego Unlocked and Samuel the 17th. So you guys wanna check that out. I'll have a link right up here or up here, whatever side. And make sure if you want to vote for our next map, you hop into our Discord. The link should be in the description below. I'll try to have a pinned comment there, but recently me pinning a comment and then scheduling a video, it unpins the comment. So uh, j just make sure you check the description for it. So I did play a little bit of BO4 when it came out. I played the multiplayer for about a month and then I kind of stopped playing the game. I didn't really touch the zombies, so I'm very, very new to it. I don't know what a lot of this is. I just kind of briefly went through and looked at these perks so we're gonna have quick revive here uh i don't know if we should have stamina up and all that i kind of want to try out the new perks so i was looking through here and this one is like a melee perk where your melee swipes affect multiple enemies on an arc and you have two different swipes there's like a lunge bonus all that good stuff uh this one is inflicting a lot of damage uh spawns in a wolf companion which seems pretty cool there's also Zom Shell. Basic zombies have a chance to explode when killed leaving behind contamination field and then there's blaze phase which is kind of like phd uh, electric burst that's like electric cherry dying wish seems really cool where instead of like going down you go berserk for nine seconds and while you're berserk you're invulnerable and melee damage is greatly increased so i'm gonna throw that one on and stone cold stronghold kind of to me seems like ring of fire almost so i definitely want to throw that one on time slip it's seems all right but i'm gonna throw on dying wish instead oh wait what's switching here oh here we go Okay, all right, I think I'm figuring this out. So instead of time slip, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Blood Wolf Bite. We'll try these out, see how it does. And then also we have like special weapons here. I don't know what any of these are. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Hammer of Valhalla. So uh, it, just let me know below of like what I should be doing here, what I should be looking out for. And then we have these elixirs here, which I'm pretty sure are like gobble gums. So I'm gonna make sure that I have anywhere but here. We also have Temporal Gift, Burned Out, and then Head Scan. Probably not the best things to have on, but it's whatever. It's our first time through the map. We're probably not going to get too far. And then we got to start with the welling here because I don't think I have anything else to use. Yeah, it's not looking like it. There's also a whole armory here. I don't think I have anything unlocked really. And there's like a whole character select screen. I don't know if they have anything like different, like different abilities like they do in multiplayer because I know they used to have like grappling hooks or shields or something like that. So let me know down below what I should be looking out for. But let's go ahead, hop on Voyage of this pair of nuts and try this game out. All right, here we are on Voyage. So I haven't really been able to show the cutscenes because a lot of them have copyrighted music in them, which is unfortunate, but it looks like the, the lore of this map is that these four people trying to take this artifact out of a safe, they get it out, and then like the captain of the ship or something is also like a demon or whatever. He had some marking on his forehead that was like glowing. And then he came in, like grabbed it last second, popped it like a field upgrade, and then everybody turned to zombies is my understanding of it. Well, it looks like we got Quick Revive right here to start, which is pretty cool. It's 2000 though. They're price gouging out here. But uh, I really like the theming of this map. It being on the Titanic is really cool. I'm glad this is the map we're starting with because whenever I'd see somebody play BO4, like I'd see this map a lot and it, it kind of stood out to me. But the furthest I've been on this map is in this first room. So I think after like another round here, we'll go ahead and head on into the rest of the ship. I'm glad this still kind of has like BO3 sliding where you can like slide almost infinitely as long as I'm not messing up the input, but it doesn't seem as fast. All right, let's open our first door. What's through here? Oh, this seems like it's going to be real confusing to learn at the start. Just long hallways all looking the same, basically. Definitely going to get lost in here. We got a shotgun wall by. Another door over here. I do like the atmosphere of this map a lot, though. I feel like this is what's missing from like newer COD games. But let me grab this. This looks like an automatic. I'll take that. And what's through this door? Class, first class entrance. Okay, can't go through there. That was also a window, so I probably wouldn't be able to get through anyways. Oh, I can get through. I just had to walk around. Nice grand staircase here. What is this? Box location? That looks pretty cool. I've also been told there's like no jug in this game. You just spawn with 250 health. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I think there's still a perk limit. So like, I guess it kind of helps because you're not wasting a, a perk slot on jug because you know you'd already grab it but i don't know it feels weird not having it or not even having the ability to but looking back at this box spawn this is sick got some zombies just reaching out that looks so cool and now it's probably time that i figure out where to go before i run out of ammo which is coming 
pretty soon here. Okay, let's pop this door open. Nice little dining area. This is like Stranger Things in here. What is this? Oh, that's the Blood Wolf bite. There's a Bowie knife over here, but where's a gun? I need a gun. Here we go. What is this? MP5? Or the, oh, my bad. The MX9. My apologies. Got an M and a number in it. How much is Blood Wolf? 3,000? We'll take it. Ooh. So I just grab a trophy? That's weird. I don't know if I like that there's no perk bottles in this, but at least it's like, you know, something different. They're they're trying to change it up. They're they're thinking of some new things here. What's in here? Uh-oh. The scary stairwell. I guess we'll go up the scary stairwell. Can't go through here, though, because we need an artifact. Looks like there's a lot of artifact doors. Okay, I am completely out of ammo, which is not good. I should try to make my way back down and buy some more. And now my game is frozen. Oh, wait. We're almost back. Wait for it. Let's open this door. Okay, this is bad. This game really does not want to run right now. Okay, all right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I was having a lot of issues just trying to get this game to launch. Oh, and now it's hearing me talking shit. This is bad. Yeah, I was giving this game props before, like in streams and stuff, saying that this is like the first BO4 or like the first COD game to really work on PC. And now I'm eating my words. Now I'm setting all my settings to low. And last time I've done this, the game has like crashed every time. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. Please don't. All right, I think we might be good. There we go. Not going to be as pretty, but we're chilling. I don't know what the problem is with this game, though. I got a I got a pretty meaty computer, and it seems like it just don't like BO4. All right, we got some ammo back. Cool thing about this game, though, it looks like when I bought ammo, it refilled my mag, not just my stock. So that's sick. Good to know that I can just buy ammo, and it'll refill my magazine. This guy got messed up. Ooh, what's this floating thing over here? Is this another perk? Oh, is that the artifact? How do I get up there? Oh, there's a staircase. That's probably how. Come here. Artifact. All right, we activated that. Don't know what happened. Oh, now we can grab it. Maybe not. It looks like it just wants to drive the ship. Oh. Well, I'm not paying for that. So it looked like the artifact kind of broke off and went to other areas. Do we have to, like, use it like a soul box? Oh, this is the Pack-A-Punch pedestal. That's sick. Would have never guessed that was Pack-A-Punch just by looking at it. I'm out of ammo. I got to switch out this. We'll take this, the KN57. I'm assuming this is the, the whatever, the AN94, or what do they call it in BO3? It was like the KN97 or something. They always just slightly change up the names when they're all like the same gun. Oh, max ammo actually refills your mag too. That's sick. Yeah, what's over here? Let's clearly use the breeze. We can go on top of the ship. That's where that thing broke, the steam stack or whatever it's called. What is this? A portal? Unlock the engine room to use this fast travel. There's fast travel on this map? Okay, good to know. Those are like the portals on uh, D-Machina. Oh, I've seen these things before. Actually, never mind, I haven't. That's our wolf. I thought it was one of those uh, splitting zombies. Because when we were doing our first room challenge, I saw those come up. We'll get them, Luna. Mess them up. I'm going to go get Quick Revive. And we got to find where these other perks are at, too. I want to see what all these do. All right, Quick Revive, come here. There we go. Activate your little totem. And let's go through here. But I'm guessing this is just another way up to the top of the ship. There's some other stuff back here, though. A wheel. Another wheel. Lots of wheels on the ship. It's like wheels on the bus. Oh, there's the guy I was talking about. You just split into a Electro. Now he's dead. Stay away from me. Stay back. There we go. Got Ice Ice JJ Fish out of here. Or Ice JJ Fish. The Ice Ice is probably from Ice Ice Baby. Okay, we're finding new areas. Just kidding. We've been here before. Wait, no, we haven't. Is this the mystery box? Let's go. I'm going to hit it. What do we got? The Argus? Come on. I feel like I've gotten that box out of the gun so many times in BO3, I don't even want it here. But Joe, that's actually the best gun in this game. I know someone's going to say something like that. Let's try one more time. Get back, zombies. Okay, we'll take this. The Tiger Shark. What a sick name for a gun. Looks pretty cool, too. Actually, I don't think we've been to this area before. It just looks very similar. Oh, wait, maybe we have. This is where we got the wolf one. This gun's kind of sick, actually. I think I'm going to pack a punch this. Assuming all I got to do is go up to this thing to pack a punch. I don't know if I got to turn anything on. You need to go away, though. Both of you. Activate pack a punch pedestal. Oh, I need to find all these symbols. Come on. I thought it was going to be easy. Well, I actually haven't gone in here yet, so let's check out this area. What is that sound? Oh, big dude with a stick. I remember him. He was terrorizing us during our, our first room challenge. And now I'm dead. This is actually exactly what I wanted to happen. He's going to sit here and camp me. So I'm going to get some damage on him while I'm down and kill him. Easy. Went right with the plan. Yeah, let's keep heading downstairs. A lot of zombies, though. A lot of zombies. Let's, uh, that's the wrong one. I did not mean to use that one. 
Do I get revived here? I don't think so, do I? I'm just gonna bleed out. Oh wait, no, I do get up. What? How? Okay, well, I'm not complaining. I need to anywhere but here. I'm out of here. Oof, this has been a little rough. Oh, I should probably like get used to using my specialist weapon and think of it as like a field upgrade. And okay, we should probably just like, you know, thin down the herd a bit before going down stairs. It seems a little crowded down there. All right, I think we have one zombie. So let's go try this again and try not to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, that seems appetizing. Let's open this up. It says help. Oh, is this the engine room? Oh, here's another perk. What is this? We'll grab that. Is this the one where I rampage instead of going down? No, I don't think so. This is like the ring of fire type one. And I cleared some debris here to go into water. So let's try this. Oh yeah, more swimming. Good thing I just played Zetsubo. Is this one of the symbols we're looking for? Looks like it. Okay, so that's two symbols down. Let's try to find the other ones. Let's try to backtrack our way through the boat and pick our perks back up. There's got to be one up top here that I miss. So I'm assuming there's going to be one on like every floor of the boat. And right, well, I'm getting quick revive back. Oh, this is open now. We haven't been in here yet. Oh, it's big hammer dude again. And he shoots fire apparently. Cool. I didn't know that part about him. Oh, and it's his friend, Stinky. That's like a baby uh, Megaton. A little Megaton bomber. All right, excuse me, gentlemen. Please don't knock me. Fuck. That's the game. Well, I would like to say I, I learned a bit through this, but I didn't. The only thing I learned that it's actually not that different from other zombies games is just the perk system's a little different. Uh, there's that special weapon I need to get used to using, and there's probably a lot more that I don't know about. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch a guide, and I'm gonna come back to you guys with a little more knowledge. All right, we're back. Uh, I've watched a few guides on it. I think I know a little bit more about what's going on in the map. And also we're starting like mid game here. We're on round 11 and that's because I just wanted to get set up really quick. You know, get the map open. So I have to show you guys me doing that all again. But uh, I found out how to do pack a punch. I have three of the four relic things done already. Uh, I was going to wait to do the fourth one with you guys. And now we have one of these, uh, where are they, they stokers, like the people that run the furnaces down in the engine hall. Uh, I'm having this guy chase me right now because if we kill him, there's a chance that he could drop a key for this wonder weapon. Oh shit. Anywhere but here. I'm gone. See you later. Whew. Okay. But if we can get this guy killed and you can drop that key. Uh, we can go ahead and look for this chest on the boat. Uh, it's going to be like a soul box once we open it. We're going to have to kill like 20 zombies in front of it. Then after that, we have to find whatever specific item goes with it. Uh, like there'll be an item in the chest. There's binoculars pretty close to here, which might be one of them, but also might not. So we'll have to figure that out when we get to it. But I have two perks right now. I have like the wolf blood thing in quick revive. I don't know where the other two perks are at. Actually, that's a lie. I know where one of them is, but we'll get to it. For now, we need this guy to die. Did we get him? Nope. Where'd our guy go? Did he just disappear? I didn't kill him. That's weird. All right, I guess whatever. Uh, we can just go ahead and thin down this herd and get pack a punch and we'll wait for another one to spawn. All right, we don't have that many zombies left. Let's head down here and our last relic is going to be somewhere over here. We just got to find it. Okay, this area is really cool. I like seeing these old cars and everything in this old storage room. And here it is. This is our the thing we're looking for. Zombie, please, if you would. Let's do that. And does pack a bunch spawn here immediately or is a random spot? No, it's here. Okay, so let me go get some air before I drown. And let's get this KN57 packed. So let's toss it in there. Pack a punch machine looks sick. I have been made aware though that it does move around, which is kind of annoying. But there we go. Our first pack a punch gun here on BO4. This is sick. Let me try to swim up to the surface so we can actually take a look at it. Ooh. It almost looks like dark mat. That's like dark aether in there with like a gold outline. That's pretty sick. Pretty nasty. But now we need to get out of here before I get trapped. Oh, and here's the chest that we're looking for. All right, so we know it's there. We just need one of our dudes to spawn back in. And I'm sure he'll be here soon. Oh, yep, here he is. Gassed him easily. We got to try not to get gassed ourselves. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, no. Oh, close call. All right, we took him out. Did you have the key for us? Does not look like it. Oh, yeah, he did. Let's grab that key. And let's go down to our chest now that we know that we're close to it. I probably shouldn't have hit that nuke, though. That's a yikes. Let's open it up. Now we just need to fill this up. Right, Luna? Yeah. Luna knows. I'm scared to be down here, though. I feel like I'm going to die. I don't like these uh, enclosed areas. I'm zombies claustrophobic. Oh, jeez. What the fuck is this? Uh-uh. Nope. I ain't messing with that. What is this lizard person? No. Shit. Now I'm down. Perfect. Let's not go ahead and throw this one. Okay, get quick revive back. 
immediately. This is probably a very bad area to train at, but this is like the area I know the most. Maybe I should be training on the poop deck. Also, forgot to mention that there is a poop deck. I don't know how I didn't point out that there was a poop literally in this map. And I'm probably just going to head there right now because I'm low on ammo for our KN. Get this thing taken out, please. No, no, it's like a smoker from Left 4 Dead. Let go of me. It's eating me out. Put me down, bitch. Okay, I probably shouldn't have turned and faced it. I thought I could take it out with my last few bullets of the KN, but that was not the case. Really bad start here. Zombies, can we all just chill out for a minute and let me go get ammo? I think that'd be pretty cool, right? We finally made it. Give me the ammo, please. Thank you. I need to get back to quick revive now. Hopefully we can take this thing out before it smokers me again. I ain't doing that. Also, I hit the box earlier and I have these like different kind of nades. I'm not ne necessarily sure what they do, but I'm going to try one. Oh, okay. It looks like a monkey bomb. Basically a monkey bomb. Oh shit. It actually just jumps around and kills everything. That's pretty cool. This guy has way too much health though. You need to die. Like now. Like right now. There you go. Our little our little buddy helped us out there though. Okay, let's grab our wolf cola back. Courtesy of Dr. Mantis Toboggan. If you know, you know. You know what? Maybe we should just throw this little guy in front of our uh, soul box. Once we find our way back to it. I get so lost on this map. I think I found it though. I think we got it. Come back to me, quick revive. Oh, we gotta clean the vomit off of it? Okay. Cool. So it's like Brutus. He basically chained down our quick revive. Let's head down here. We know we have our little buddy to use now. Let's get him ready. Stim him up. Go down. Oh, get off me though. All of you. Okay, that should be enough for the soul box. And we got full power here. Luna is here as well. And now we just need to find where the box teleported to. I'm getting this wonder weapon. Whether they want me to or not. Actually, there's one more thing I should do before we go ahead and try to do this little chest thing. Is I need to drain the water out. I'm going to do that really quick. I think there is a thing over here. According to the video that I watched. Yep, there it is. So we got to drain that part. And then we got to go all the way to the other side where there's water and drain that side as well. I think it's right over here. Here we go. Looks like the water should drain out now. And we can finally just walk around in here and not have to swim. We also grab Stone Cold Stronghold here. I like how it sounds like glass breaking when you pick it up, though. The Steve Austin perk. All right, we found our chest again. We need to fill this up with some more souls. Oh, it said there's a part over here. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Picked up some sort of part. Don't know what that's for. Don't really care. But we need to fill this up with some more souls. It's going to move again after we fill it up. And then after that, I'm pretty sure we can actually see what item spawns in it. And then go to wherever that item is and then get our wonder weapon, hopefully. But uh, we'll see. I think I might do the same thing here again. Use our little buddy. Please don't knock me. And I'm dead. Well, I'm going to have to redo all that. All right, I'm damn near where I was at last time. I just got the key. I'm opening this up. We're going to go ahead and fill up this soul box, hopefully, and not die. Never mind, there's a fucking big dude in here. We're running away. I'm going to go ahead and quickly loop back. Hopefully, we can fill this up. Okay, we did, and it moved. We got to find where it's at now. But also, when I went to go restart my game, I was looking through my old emblem that I had on here. Like, this is probably, like, the last COD game that had an emblem creator. And probably for good reason. You know, it was fun, but mine is extremely vulgar. And I know for sure the video will get demonetized, but I still want to show you guys. So I'm going to throw it up on my Twitter if you guys want to go check it out there. Now I got to dwindle this round down until we can find where the next soul box is. Oh no. Bring out the specialist. Swing it. Get away from me. Take him out. Night, night time. Everybody get back. This thing's actually pretty sick. Oh, found it. Let's go. All right, let's fill this thing up. We got insta kill going too, so this is perfect. Okay, maybe we only get like two kills with that insta-kill. A little late to the party. We have our stronghold going though. That kind of helps with this. And the second we get this done, I'm immediately hitting this portal. We're just sitting here in our sea bear circle. Waiting for zombies to show up. Here they are. Oh, now the stinky one's over here. There's two stinkies. We don't like that. Okay, hit the portal now. <sighs> Definitely didn't finish filling up that soul box, but it got pretty crazy in there. Now we just need to make our way back. All right, let's fight through this horde of zombies. So there's a max ammo over here. Specialist is actually kind of busted. I'm not going to lie. All right. And then we can use that max ammo to hopefully fill this thing up. As long as this guy just dies, please. No, you don't want to die. Okay. We got that filled up. 
now we need to find where it went this time. Okay, so I just went back to watch the guide again to make sure I'm doing everything right. I think we might need to fill it up one more time, which is ridiculous. I have not been able to find the Zeus uh, perk though, or whatever the Zeus slot is. I've seen everything else but that one. I've only been able to find three perks. There's one at spawn. There's one under in like the boiling or the boiler room. There's one in like the main cafeteria. And I don't know where the other one could be. Oh, great. The fucking parasite thing's back. The smoker. I ain't dealing with that. Come on, please die so I can go back to looking for this chest. Ain't no way I'm gonna let this thing kill me. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Fuck! Well, that thing just beat the shit out of me. Oh, is that it? We found Dying Wish. Let's go! Can this thing die already? Thank you. Finally, now we can actually go back to looking for this chest and it's not down here. Oh, I found it. Let's go No item in it. So that means we need to fill this up And the round ended So we got to fill this up fast in this round and I think it's gonna move yet again and then just spawn with the item. All right specialist weapon. Let's go Does this fill up my soul box? It looks like it does. What's up big guy? Look, we got a wolf and a hammer coming for you Yeah, get the fuck out of here and maybe it doesn't move again but it's a little too crowded down here for me to find out. I'll have to come back. Is it done? Is there an item now? Do I need to fill you up more? Looks like it. Damn. Oh, now it's moving. Oh, it came back to the same spot. So the globe. Where's the globe? Okay, so now I'm pretty sure the globe is actually right above us. Uh, based on the, what the guide was saying. I don't know my way out quite around the map very well yet but we're figuring it out a lot of it just looks the same i'm gonna be real but before i go to it i gotta make sure i can actually survive and witness it i don't want to like watch it drop off our wonder weapon and then us immediately die so i'm grabbing ammo real quick and i'm gonna try to thin down the round and a good way to do it is with this absolutely just dismantle this whole horde get this guy out of here all right now let's go see it we should be pretty well off right now Ooh, ooh, bad time to lose that hammer right when i was Face to face with the zombie. Now we gotta find where this globe's at. Pretty sure it's right over here. At least it should be. Oh, here's the globe. There's the Kraken. Fill my Kraken. <laughs> and we got it. Let's go. The Kraken Wonder Weapon. It looks like a triple burst cannon. Let's try it out on these guys. Ooh. I was expecting it to do a little more there, but it looks pretty sick, honestly. Looks nice. I wonder if there's like a whole upgrade process for this or if I can just pack a punch it. I'm sure there's some complicated upgrade process. I'm going to look it up. Oh yeah, there's a whole nother process for getting this thing updated or upgraded. There's, uh-uh, I'm done. Maybe we'll do this another day. But now I'm just going to see how long I can survive. And actually, let's get this thing packed too while we're at it. So let's see if we can even get packed two in this. We can. I wonder if they're all the same ammo mods as before. Oh, it looks a little different as well. It's like that nice blue and pink or blue and red rather. And we have firebomb. Pretty cool. I'm gonna hit the box one time. See if we can get our little buddies as our nades. If not, we're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling on that. What the hell? So now I'm gonna just hang out over here at the poop deck until, uh, you know, we inevitably get taken out. But I want to see how high of a round we can get to. My guess is going to be like 21 or something like that. I don't expect us to go too far. Especially with that demon crawling around. Uh-uh. You know what? Take the wonder weapon, bitch. You like that? He does, actually. It's He's tanking quite a bit of shots. Oh, wait. Did I kill him? Never mind. He, he loved it. Or he didn't love it. Whether Whatever one's worse for him. All right. Anywhere but here. Oh, wait. No. I have this. I just keep fumbling on all my keys and my, my controller buttons, and I just don't know what's happening. I made it out of there somehow without going down, though. That's a positive. And we're back to the poop deck. Time to survive. I don't think there's really a dog round on this map. I think this is one of the first times I'm seeing that they don't have some sort of like dedicated max ammo round. Maybe that's like the big parasite thing that's spawning in, but that it's also spawning with normal zombies. I don't know. I haven't seen anything that really spawns in and guarantees you a max ammo is what I'm trying to say. So on most maps, oh, speaking of max ammo, we're literally just talking about it. But on most maps, there's going to be something that, or there's going to be a round or something that spawns in and guarantees uh, a max ammo when you defeat it and does not look like it's happening here no way we just went down there i was really trying to just strong push into that nuke to get to the next round but uh it'd be yourself sometimes we've made it to round 20. oh and pack a punch just showed up what's going on pack a punch I, I never attempted it. Oh, I can pack a punch it. I didn't know. I just assume that wonder weapons aren't pack a punchable in these older games, but there we go. 
nasty. Now the eyes on it are like purple. Take a better look at it. Ooh, crispy. Shout out Pack-a-Punch for coming to me. But also remove that, that shout out from Pack-a-Punch for when it moves away from you. It is weird that there's a moving Pack-a-Punch machine. TBHNGL. Yeah, after I'm done going on a rampage with this uh, specialist thing, I'm going to test out that, that Pack-a-Punch wonder weapon. All right, let's give it a, a test run here. All these zombies immediately crushed. Ooh, this thing's nasty. It looks pretty cool too when it shoots. It's got a big purple glow coming out of the cannon. I like that. It's a pretty unique wonder weapon, but a little underwhelming, honestly, in terms of like what it does, at least from what I'm seeing. There's probably some crazy upgrades for it that like shoot out like Gersh devices, but I ain't got time for that. Round 21, my, my predicted death. I think I'm gonna actually make it past it now. I'm feeling more confident. Oh, okay, never mind then, I guess. I was really not expecting to go down there and I thought I still had quick revive. The thing was still lit up at the bottom. I thought that was just one of the perks I didn't lose when I went down. But, I mean, we did what we came here to do. We got Pack-a-Punch, we got the Wonder Weapon, and we even Pack-a-Punch the Wonder Weapon. Might have not have made it that far, but that's pretty far for somebody who's like never played this game before, really. So, I'm happy with the results. Uh, again, make sure you guys go join the Discord. The link should be in the description below. Uh, I, I'm going to try to have a comment there. YouTube likes to remove my pinned comments whenever I schedule the video. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll put the comment on, pin it, schedule the video, come back, and that comment is like unpinned. So, if it's not there in the comment section, check the description. Go in there. Go ahead and vote for our next map. Uh, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, make sure you head on over to my Twitter if you want to see what my uh, the emblem I created was. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.